Hey guys, Matt with CJ Offroad here. Now today we're in front of my 2020 Jeep Gladiator and I'm running into the same question that we're gonna be discussing in today's video. It's which lift kit is right for your Gladiator and why? Now right now I've got a 2020 Gladiator Rubicon and I'm searching for the perfect lift kit to get on there and really be able to make it capable for overlanding. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about three different types of lift kits and why each of them is beneficial for your Jeep Gladiator. The first type of lift kit is entry level. The second type is going to be a more mild or medium style lift kit. And then the last level is just gonna be extreme and something that is just way over the top. Now we're gonna go over some of the benefits and pros and cons of each. So make sure you stay tuned for this one and definitely drop a like below and drop a comment. But we're gonna get started right now with the entry level lift kits. So let me tell you about those. As far as an entry level lift kit goes, I'm gonna say that that is gonna be between zero and two and a half inches. And the reason I say that is because up to a two and a half inch lift, you can fit on some smaller size tires, but still get some decent articulation. However, you don't have to do a lot of cutting or modification to your Jeep to get to that point. Now on our 2020 Gladiator Overland, we did install a Daystar inch and a half leveling kit. Now that only required removing a few pieces up front. It did come with new control arms and we just put springs and shock extenders on there. Now the reason entry level is so great is because the cost is normally relatively cheap. So these are a cheaper lift kit to get onto and you can still get great quality manufacturers, but at the end of it, you're not gonna get as tall of a lift kit. This is more entry level and just gonna pick you up a little bit. If you only wanna run a set of 33s or 35s and that's it, this is the perfect lift kit to go for. You're still gonna get that stock-like ride quality, but you're not gonna break the bank to put it on and you can spend a little bit more on wheels and tires to get exactly what you want. Now the cons of this is you're not gonna have much flex and you're not gonna have as much articulation. You still can get it out of there. However, your ground clearance is not gonna be raised up as high as something like a mild or extreme lift kit. So you do pay the price when it comes to articulation. You save on the cost, but you're not gonna get as much as that. However though, I think that the entry level kit is something great for you if you just got your Jeep Gladiator and are new to the Jeep game. It's relatively inexpensive. You can slap it on with one of you and your buddies in your driveway or in your small garage and get it done with mild tools. Now once you have that done, you can decide if that's enough for you and you don't really wanna go out and go wheeling like crazy. And you can normally pull them off and sell them locally and recoup just about all the money that you spent on it. With that being said, now we're gonna move on to mild. Now, as far as my considerations for what a mild lift kit for a Gladiator is, I'm gonna go of the two and a half to four and a half inch kit. Now, to me, that is mild. And once you start getting up to that four and a half inch, you can make it more extreme as far as components to add on. But a mild lift for these things is two and a half to four and a half inches. Once you have it up to a four and a half, if you do have a Gladiator Rubicon, you'll easily be able to fit 40 inch tires and not really have too many issues when you're going out and articulating. Now, a mild lift kit normally comes with shocks, springs, control arms, and sometimes even brake lines added onto there. Now it really depends on what type of kit you get, but you can get a mild lift kit that does require a little bit less parts to be installed. You can get a two and a half inch rough country lift like we installed on our 2020 Gladiator, and that'll require a lot less parts than most of the other kits and still give you a really decent amount of articulation. Now the two and a half inch kit on our standard Gladiator Overland with the low profile, the lower flares, that lift still gave us enough room to fit 35 inch tires with a decent amount of articulation so we could still take it out and go on some decent trails but not have to worry about hitting anything underneath and still be able to really flex it out. Now if you've got the Rubicon like I do, the flares are an extra two inches taller. So with a two and a half inch kit, you can already fit 37s on this thing. You won't have as much articulation clearance inside the fender wells, but we do have a lot of fender eliminator kits and things that you can do to help increase that. I'd recommend a mild lift kit to someone that has maybe had a Jeep before or just went from that basic or entry level lift kit and is really now starting to explore off-roading and starting to explore wheeling and going out and overlanding a lot more. You can get a ton of kits right here at CJ's going right up to four and a half inches. And at that four and a half inches, that is my barrier between mild and extreme. And it's there for a good reason. You can get to a four and a half inch kit on these Gladiators, easily fit a set of 40 inch tires and really be extremely capable. So you don't need to go to that extreme level to really have a lot of flex and keep that low center of gravity, which is another important thing. That's why the next category isn't the best for wheeling. It's just gonna be for those guys that really wanna get it up in the air, really wanna show off a little bit. The mild is gonna be your kind of key point. That's always where I've kept my Jeeps. My last JL had a three and a half inch lift. My JK before that had a four and a half inch long arm and that was more capable than probably any Jeeps that I've ever driven a long arm with brand new axles, with the lockers, everything. It could literally, I'd point it in one direction, put it in a four low, and it would take me wherever I wanted to go. I've never gone past four and a half inch kit, 
And I don't think I would on my personal Jeep just because I like to keep it more mild and street mannered when I'm driving down the highway. As most of you know, that's what we're gonna be doing most in our Jeeps. So with that being said, we're now gonna talk about the extreme section and all that has to offer. Now last but certainly not least is gonna be the extreme category on lift kits. Now on our 2020 Jeep Gladiator Overland, the last kit we decided to install on it was a six inch rough country lift kit. That's right, a six inch kit. Now on a standard JL or JK, the six inch is pretty much gonna be the most extreme and the highest you'd ever wanna go because it really does pick them up. However, on trucks, and considering this Jeep Gladiator is a small pickup truck, a six inch kit pretty much is common in the truck game. I've had to learn a lot going into the truck game a lot more with the Gladiator and going to a six inch lift really isn't all that uncommon. And heck, we've installed a few on our Ford Raptors, on our Chevys, you can really get them up in the air. Even on our SEMA truck, we went with a seven inch kit. So it's not all that uncommon to get up that tall. Now with the Gladiator, the biggest difference is that you have such wide wheel wells. They're not designed like modern trucks where they're squared off like a Chevy or a Ford is rounded, but kind of small. In these Gladiators, you can fit 40 or 42 inch tires with a six inch lift kit. And that is just insane. These things are huge. And even me getting it out of our Gladiator Overland is sometimes a little bit of a struggle. I'm not as tall. But that's why we added some steps. Now I'd say that with this extreme lift kit, unless you are going with full long arms, coilovers, and something really crazy to really help it articulate, this is not gonna be the best option for off-roading and rock crawling unless you get those long arms and really make it flex. And to do that, you're gonna be dropping a lot of coin. Another thing that you wanna worry about too, is once you start getting up into the six inch territory, running 40s or even 42 inch tires, even the Rubicon axles are probably gonna need some upgrades and definitely some re-gearing. And you might even wanna replace your entire axle assembly all as one. What I will tell you guys is that if you're looking for just that extreme look and really wanna get it up to the same height as a lot of these lifted pickup trucks that you see around, the six inch or four and a half to six inch is really your perfect level for you. Now with our Rough Country kit, we have had it out and flexed it out and you can get some really crazy flex out of this thing. However, it is really tall. So for going out and really off-roading and rock crawling, you're gonna be hitting a lot of branches and things up high. And then when you go to flex it, it is pretty high when it comes to the center of the gravity. So it's not gonna be the best for that, but it is gonna get you a ton more looks and really just get you up in the air extremely high. I love the way our Gladiator looks, but it's purpose built, it's a show vehicle, and really gets a lot of people in and draws attention to it, which is the perfect explanation for why you'd go extreme. Well guys, I hope this video helped explain the difference in lift kits for your Jeep Gladiator and really explain the benefits of each size and style of lift kit that you can get. Now, overall, the decision is up to you, but I hope this could start as just a guideline on what you should be looking for and kind of think about what you're gonna be using your Gladiator for. Now, if you do want to start checking out lift kits as well as wheels and tires and lighting and everything that you need for your Gladiator once you get it up in the air, be sure to drop by cjponyparts.com where you can find a wide array of all sorts of lift kits, wheels and tires, and everything ready to ship right to your door and help you get it installed. And for all your installation videos as well as all your videos on Gladiators, Wranglers, and everything off-road, be sure to click that subscribe button on CJ Off-Road. That way you stay up to date on all these videos and you won't miss a thing. And if you don't like my face, you can always hit unsubscribe and then you won't have to see me again. Till next time guys, I hope to see you out on the trail and I hope you're staying safe. I'll see you next time.